Let's really quickly make a transition screen kind of like this one. Make a material for your loading screen. Then in the details, set the domain to being user interface and the blend mode to being masked. Then get a texture sample mode. Right click that and convert it to a parameter and call that something like texture, like I have up here. Add a texture coordinate node, subtract from that a vector 2 of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Divide that by a zoom scale parameter, which you can get by holding down one, clicking, and then right clicking, converting to parameter and give it in the name. And then add back in your 0 0.5, 0 0.5 vector. And that goes into the UVs of the texture parameter. Your image should be a white cut out of the shape that you want the screen transition to be. Then we're going to one minus X that and go into the opacity mask. Then we'll make a widget where we have a simple image. In the brush, we're gonna set the image to being the material that we made. In the event graph for set widget on event construct, we're going to create a dynamic material instance of that same material type. We'll save that to a variable and then we set our images brush by that material. Then we make a set image custom event, which has an input of a texture 2D. You can ignore the level title that is unrelated to this. We check if that mat, the image that we're putting in, is valid. If it is, we set it to a variable temporarily, and then we make a custom event for a fade in. We use the material variable and the mat variable that we have to set a texture parameter with the name of the parameter that we made in the material. Then we play a fade in animation, which you can do in the designer, going up to window and making sure that animations is ticked to true. You'll get this little window down here where we can make a new animation if you want to. So let's call this just QWERTY for the time being. Then you just add your image. In my case, it's called black. We'll add a new channel to it of type brush dot brush material and there we add the parameter zoom scale or whatever you called it and there we can animate this from zero in a certain amount of time to one or maybe even bigger than one something that makes your entire screen clear and this will be the fade in and out animation which you can then access under animations in your variable and then you can just play that animation we set the widget to be invisible and i have a bool in here as well for is playing i also have a fade out custom event which does the exact same thing, but instead we just play the fade out animation, which is the opposite keyframes of the fade in animation. You also can just do the fade in animation again and play it in reverse if you prefer. Then on the player, we simply create that loading screen widget. We save it to a variable. We add it to the viewport at a Z order of a very high number. So that's always on top. And then immediately we set the visibility to being hidden so that it only becomes visible when we actually play one of the animations. And from there, you can play this whenever you like switch levels or whenever you do literally anything you care for.